I just say it right away. This is a 10 out of 10 movie for me and maybe easily one of my favorite movies of this year. So this is my very first movie review and I still need to experiment with the format. But let me give you some information about me to give you somewhat of a baseline for these reviews. I am a professional film editor, so I do look for good editing in movies and series. I enjoy entertaining movies and series and mostly don't like art house films or let's say straight out of life depressing drama stories because I think the world has been somewhat depressing for the last few years. So I do enjoy action, sci-fi, fantasy, comic adaptations, thrillers, comedies. And now that I think of it, I like a lot of movies and series as long as they entertain me. So let's start with a somewhat spoiler-free synopsis. Tom Cruise, aka Maverick, is being tasked to train some young but very capable pilots for a seemingly impossible task. And obviously, it's not impossible for Maverick, which is why he is being tasked to train them. Besides this hitting all of the right nostalgia notes, this movie is filled with lots of adrenaline filled action. Which if you think really hard about it is amazing because this is a movie without yeah, a proper villain. In most action movies you have a good side and a bad side. Don't get me wrong, there is a bad side on which they have to stage their attack. However, there is no clear bad guy. So the only enemy is themselves while they train for this mission. And it gets really intense and for us as the watcher really entertaining. And yes, the movie is well written, directed and edited. But what makes this so highly entertaining is that the majority of the stunts and what is shot is real. All of the actors are inside of those jets and maneuvers are real. And yep, you basically just feel it. You see it in the faces of the actors. You see it in the lack of green screen. It is just amazing, especially since we are all bombarded with CGI and green screen shots in all of these movies today. This is what makes this movie so highly enjoyable for me. I love the capabilities of CGI and green screen. And there are so many good movies that execute CGI and green screen in such a natural and believable way. But then there are movies like Doctor Strange uh, Multiverse, so Doctor Strange Part 2, where everything looks great, but due to the clarity and the way it was shot, the CGI felt very staged and not well integrated to my eyes. So having a movie like Top Gun, in which almost everything is the real deal, just makes watching it so much more enjoyable. That being said, realistic action is only the bonus. Good action without a story and good acting is bad as well. But Top Gun has an engaging story and all of the actors perform very well. Hangman, yeah, he was a little bit over the top, but it fitted well in the nostalgia feeling of the first Top Gun 80s movie. So overall, I love this movie and I give it a 10 out of 10. What did you think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're like I am coming from the 80s, what are your favorite 80s movies? Let all of us know in the comment section below. So what did you think about this very first movie review? Yeah, I really love movies and I want to do this more. And yeah, if you like what I'm doing, be it on my first channel or on this channel. If you enjoy movies, if you enjoy series, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, what kind of movies do you want me to review in the future? So I have a couple of more re reviews lined up, be it Thor. I just watch Love and, and Thunder. Is it called that? Yeah, Love and Thunder. I also want to review series where I always struggle. Do I want to invest time in this series? Is it actually good to spend multiple watch time to watch this series? And yeah, therefore I actually spent some time and re-watched Sons of Anarchy. And I want to do a review about that if it's actually worth watching in 2022. And yeah, that was about it. And if you like this, please subscribe to this channel and also check out my other channel where I do bag reviews, everyday carry and carry related items. Thank you very much and I see you in the next video.